Welcome back everybody to this D with these tackle box and we got some uh, different subjects that we're going to cover today. So uh, hang in there. This one might be uh, elementary for some of you guys, but there's a lot of other people who ask us uh, regularly when they find lures, what the difference is between certain things. One of those things is um, how do I know if it's a shallow or a deeper diving lure? And Although I know many of us are gonna think, oh man, that's like so easy. There's a lot of people that don't know that. There, I've had uh, people come fish with us here and um, you know, that's their first time catching the fish. And so they don't know all those technicalities about different uh, hooks and different uh, type of reels and why we use different reels for different lures and things like that. And this uh, part of our show, we're gonna start covering different, um, uh, I guess techniques and things like that that we use that are easy for us that we already been fishing to know and remember but difficult for some other people to even uh, start grasping the notion of why we do those type of things now I've had a lot of interest lately because fall seasons here a lot of people fish um, you know depending on where you live at over here in East Texas there's a lot of fishing going on in a lot of the lakes out here there's rivers, creeks, and all that good stuff. There's ponds and stuff that you can go out there fishing, and the fish are biting. So uh, one of the questions that we received here recently was, how do I tell if my lure is a deeper running lure or a shallow type of subsurface lure? And even though we've covered it before, we have talked about the differences in the lures and things like that, I thought it would be a good idea to touch base with simplicity when it comes to fishing which is uh, one of the most important parts of fishing, is keeping it simple so that we can go ahead and enjoy it. Now, one of the things that we're gonna show y'all first is just the dramatic, drastic um, difference so that y'all can tell. This right here, my friends, is a uh, Rapala, um, Risto Rap, I believe, I can't remember the exact name, I think that's what it is. And it has a super, huge uh this one's called rapala deep run uh, what is a deep runner uh it says down deep so this one here you can tell look at that lip on there that's going to be one of your main signs this is going to be a deep lake running lure and it's gonna just bring it straight down with that lip first before you start feeling that wiggle right now this is its counter partner. And you can see it's a small little lip on that. And this one, I'm, I'm thinking maximum maybe four to five feet deep. You got about 15, 20s or something on these longer ones like that. So that's one of the main things that's gonna help y'all determine the differences. But then we have other differences that go along with that as far as the uh, depths. Because we have something like this that's a uh, shallow running lure. This is a uh, Storm Thin Fin Fatso. And then we got his buddy here, which you can see the difference in the lift. This is a deeper uh, Magnum Wiggle Wart, but it runs deeper. See the length on there? Those are some of the differences that are gonna help you see. If you're looking for four to five foot waters and you wanna fish something uh, that you can slow down and bring it to a subsurface crawl, something like this will work. This right here will dig in deep, hit that spot and then kind of stay down there this one here you can you can actually uh, bring it down and wiggle to that depth but then you can also let it go to bring it back up a little bit and, and continue your you can do the same with this one but this is going to dig down deeper quicker so there you go your shallow and your mid deep compared to that other deep deep runner that i showed you now, just in case you are kind of like me and have a hard time seeing the details on camera, kind of like the way we're, you know, we feature them on here, but we want to make sure that um, that everything here is uh, as clear as can be. This is for different <laughs> perspective differences. So um, this guy here is your deep running lure. This guy here is your shallow lure. Now, if you notice, they're the exact same length as far as the lure goes. They're both Rebel minnows, same pattern and everything. 
but here you're gonna see the exact difference that has to do with the size of the lip there that's gonna create the uh, pitch it's gonna run and how deep it's gonna run and how quick as opposed to something like this that's probably gonna run a little bit and then kind of float or suspend this guy's gonna get deep into the lake so um, if you guys have any other questions like those things that y'all want to look at that are basics that you want to share or talk about let me know we'll uh, definitely read the comments and then come back and uh, do what we can to cover those uh, specific subjects here's another shallow one this is a rebel rouser baby Ashley I believe and um, you can see the lip is small squared and here is another one in the same kind of body profile and size this is a Norman deep little N and it has a, a longer lip so it's definitely gonna run deeper you're looking at a couple of feet in water you're looking at about six seven feet of water maybe a little bit less on that Norman same thing goes for these this is your Cordell Big O and this is your Cordell Deep Big O. The Baby Big O, Deep Baby Big O. And you can see the length difference on the bills there. So, Regardless of what you're fishing, if you're looking for something shallow, you can kind of tell now, you know, hey, you look at the lip, the longer it is, the deeper it's going to run, the quicker it's going to get there. The uh, shorter the lip, the more subsurface, uh, you know, features you can use as far as slowing it down. But at the same time, it's not going to get deeper than a certain amount of feet uh, in the water. So hope that works as far as explaining um, a little bit of how to tell the difference in that. Next time, we'll see what else we can help with. Um, we'll attack some of the questions that we get in emails and comments. So do your part, share some information, and thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share our channel with those that you know that like the same subjects. And we hope to see you here next week. So next time. This is D signing off. Fish out. Yeah. Turn me up.